My name is Adam Shake, and I'll steal a little bit of time from this white slide. And I'm going to talk to you guys about my least favorite way to start a phrase, and that's yeah, but. But before we get started with that, I want to introduce myself a little bit. I work for a company called Media Math, and they hired me to direct their site reliability engineering team. I think that's apropos because I wasn't working for them when I got accepted to do this talk, and yet they still sent me. And as well, since I now lead an SRE team, I don't have to do DevOps anymore, right? So that's cool. Um, but no, really. Clearly, at least in my mind, and I know in many minds, right, that the symbiosis between those two ways of doing your world are, are very important. So I'm still here, and I'm very excited to talk about this subject. But I want you to put yourself into a situation, and maybe you'll have this after today. You go to an incredible conference. Maybe it's SRECon. Maybe it's an Agile conference. Maybe it's a local developer conference. Maybe it's DevOps Days Chicago or DevOps Days in Indianapolis or one of the incredible DevOps Days events that happen, right? And you sit in these rooms like this and you hear people much more exciting than me talk about incredible things, right? We've already had some incredible speakers. And, and you get excited about the things that you're hearing, right? Hopefully many of you are sitting in your seats right now thinking, I could take that and go back to my organization and actually make a difference. And so you get super excited. I know I do, right? My boss hates it when I come back and I'm like pumped to do all of the things. So you, you get back with that level of excitement and you go to the boss and say, I want to do this. Or maybe you were lucky enough that your boss came with and you're talking to him over dinner and say, let's do this. And he goes, yeah, PowerPoint, because that's what you're going to do. And so you got to create that readout PowerPoint, right? you got to create that deck that, that tells everybody what you learned and they're going to know it all just from that PowerPoint. And you go share that with your team. Maybe it's the leadership team. Who knows, right? And they, you're getting head nods and thumbs up, and everyone's excited. And you kind of get to the end, and there's a call to action, right? There's some level of, all right, let's go do this stuff I just talked about. And that face goes from the thumbs up to the grumpy cat. And this is where you kind of start to get the first instances of this phrase that I can't stand, right? So the boss starts to you know, wield his power, and you get that first, yeah, but. And what is that, right? You hear, yeah, but whatever. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, but. And there's all kinds of excuses. Really, what is yeah, but? Why are you getting that, right? You're getting that because people resist change. Because the person you're trying to convince to do things in a different, better, faster, more efficient way is used to the way they've always done it, right? So you've got an excuse at this point. What are the common excuses? You guys have probably all heard these. Yeah, but we're too big, or yeah, but we're too small. And the funny thing is when you hear that from the same organization, and it does happen, I, I heard enough laughs to know you guys have heard it. There's others, right? Yeah, but we don't have the time to do that, or yeah, but we don't have budget, or yeah, but that won't work for my, insert whatever, right? My, my infrastructure team, my waterfall project, my whatever that might be, right? So what are you supposed to do? You've heard, yeah, but how do you overcome that? And that's really what, what I'm here to talk about. And I don't think it's a secret, but I think at the core of everything we do in DevOps, at the core of everything I do in SRE, at the core of everything we do as developers, there's one thing that has to exist. Many of us are bad at it, but all of us can be great at it. And that's how you deal with the yeah buts or any of the excuses. And what it boils down to is relationships. You have to go out and build relationships with the people in your organization in order to begin to have the conversation that allows you to affect that change. You can't just go be directive or share your excitement in this, you know, vomit of awesomeness and expect people to want to do it. So, um, you have to go have those real conversations. You have to uncover pain points, right? People are experiencing stress and pain in your organization because of their existing practices, uncover those. Look for small wins. Find folks who are excited, right? You have to have these conversations. Small wins are critical, right? You go out and find those things that you can do with little to no money, little to no time, and no permission, and start to do those things. Solve those problems first, because then you're going to get someone else as excited as you were when you got back, right? And if you can start to build excitement over time, you will build a groundswell for how you are going to change your organization. And it all comes, again, back to that relationship. So that is my time. I want to thank you for letting me talk. Enjoy the rest of the Ignites.